Grace Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. TNT. I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. And let's crack into another one. TNT. I, uh, I found a, a story. There's a man. His name is <clears throat> David Hampton. Bet. And they have dubbed him the silent man. The silent man. Yeah, he lives in uh, oh, he lives in the UK. I know about this guy. I've Dude. seen the story a bunch of times. Yeah, so what he does is yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, he... He walk. It's a Swansea city center, whatever that is in England. The hood. He, he walks into traffic and stands there until they have to arrest him. Yeah. And he doesn't say a word. Doesn't say a word. He doesn't talk to the police. He doesn't talk to the judge. No. He doesn't talk to his lawyer. No. He doesn't talk to psychiatrists. He, and he, so he has to like go to jail, go to court. He gets out. He said ten times he's been arrested over the years for this. Yeah. I think they, I think they have finally stopped it now. Um, that that story is like that's I've seen that a, a hundred times, but I, I do know about this guy. Uh, yeah, I, mental issues, man. Mental yeah. issues, well, obviously. His brother, yeah, yeah, has come out to say that it is just a ploy to get free meals and a roof over his head. Wait a minute, what? His brother said he is not really mute. He never stops talking. It's quite simple, really. He's just a spoiled brat. No. No. You don't think so? No. Because I'm a spoiled brat, Jonas, and Are I'm you? not going to go stand out in traffic. Yeah, Jonas, you, you, you're not a, you, don't, you don't consider yourself a brat? No. You know? Why, like, why do you think that you're a brat? I don't know. What do, what do, you, what do I have to do to be a brat, necessarily? What, what constitutes being a brat? I don't know, but I don't consider myself. One. Always figured a brat is like, no, I'm not doing what you're gonna tell me. Nah. I mean, that's kind of a brat. You can't catch me, right? Yeah. Or you're like, hey, like, can you hold this? And they hold with like one finger. <laughs> I'm not touching you. I'm not touching yeah. you. Oh my I'm god. Not <laughs> you grab. My Never mind. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> All right, Jonas, tell me where the body is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> But yeah, I don't know if he's a spoiled brat. I still have to say that to some degree, it's got to be some some sort of like mental malfunction, you know, for lack of a better term. Because even if you are, I mean, unless you're just like so destitute where that's the only way you can get a meal, that's different. Well, right, 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 yeah. But that is not the first order of like, like, oh man, there's nothing in the refrigerator. I guess I'll go stand in traffic. Till they put me in jail. Till they put me in jail and give me like a, what, a sandwich? What is that? How is that? How is that compensation for the act? That doesn't even make sense. You get fined. Don't they fine him? I would assume they would. I, uh, I mean. Fine him or and or commit him to a, you know, a, a, a an institution that could. More furry food. I mean, honestly, yeah. yeah. I mean, why? Well, okay, I saw, maybe. I saw a picture of the guy. He does not look like he has all of his cards. He doesn't. He looks like he gets plenty of carbs, though. <laughs> no, <laughs> no carbs, but carbs. He's getting the carbs. Yeah, I'm just saying, he's a big his guy. Sixty-four, uh, his sixty-four box of Crayola's got about <laughs> he's fifty-nine missing, and a half in it. It's just lacking the burnt sienna and that that <laughs> coral blue, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, his, meant, yeah, his raw umber. <laughs> He's a couple boxes. Moved down to the nub, mac and cheese. You know, not not quite all it used to be. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. I used to love that box of crayons. I don't remember anything about crayons, honestly. Really? I remember burnt sienna and coral blue because I was like, when will I ever use these colors? We're not a blue boy. I've never used burnt sienna or coral blue. They were the one crayon. The reason I remember those crayons so vividly is because they were always the ones that were. The Pristine, they still exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the time I was done with the box, so I got to see them all the time. Primary colors all day, baby. I even use yellow, and yellow sucks. Wow, it does. A, yellow that's sucks. A, that's dude. a strong opinion. It does. Yellow's good for one thing, and that's the sun. And we all know it. You put it in the corner, boom. You put it. Like, you put your little freaking three fourths of a circle in the corner, boom. Sun done. And now what do you use yellow for? Boom, nothing. Sun done. Yeah, exactly. Yellow yellow doesn't there's nothing good that's yellow in this world. Think about it. Um I think like about bananas. it. Okay. Fair. <laughs> I like <laughs> I like lemonade. 
All right, you make. You, I don't like it when you make valid points, but you making them. <laughs> you allowed. You allowed to do anything that. else that's yellow. That nah, I it's eat. cool. <laughs> You're like, it's cool. Don't, it's cool. You don't like anything yellow. I, I don't know, Jonas. I just was making a statement at that point in time, and <laughs> just I speaking. I don't know if I really thought about it hard enough because I literally was thinking about the one banana I have in the, in the kitchen right now. When I said it, I was hoping you wouldn't go there. <laughs> But you did, so you know. I mean, let's okay. Let's go. Back. Here I am with a matzo go, ball hanging out of my mouth, looking go, like an ass. The only thing I can think of is taxis, and everybody hates those. Thank so you're you, right, Dynamite. right, right. Thank you. Look at that guy in the yellow jacket. That shit looked awful. Oh, raincoats. Who likes to wear those? Disgusting. Yeah, but yeah, I don't know, man. I think this guy is still. He probably needs to be put in into a. Institution? Yeah, because obviously he can talk. I wonder if he talks when he's going to like, uh, because don't it would probably like Baker Act them or the equivalent. Baker Act. Baker Act is when you have somebody committed because they are a danger to themselves or others. Oh, like a. It's all yeah, force commitment. Man, how do you get that? Uh, you have to prove unequivocally that the unequivocally that the person is a danger to themselves or others. Like they're trying to kill themselves. I mean, like a like a psych hold. Yeah. It's funny because I've been watching a lot of like those true crime videos where like, <laughs> let's keep it a buck. I've been watching like these teen murderers and like these people who like kill their whole family or their grandparents and ish Jonas okay. or like kill their wives and stuff. What uh, what's re- usually the reason why they're doing it? Um, I mean, the reason why is they're freaking insane. Well, brother. I mean, like, <laughs> well, well, yes, yes, there's that. But like, what is the, um, huh? like, they always try to. Like they'll be like, oh, he was abused, or you know, or like, or they just like crazy. Yeah, they, I don't know. They always try to make up some bullshit excuse, man. But I figure if I was being called in by the police, I would make up some bullshit excuse as well, or I'll just be like, I want to see a lawyer, and I don't have to do anything. I just let the lawyer handle it all. I mean, <clears throat> that's yeah. a smart thing to do. What's the most wild story that you saw then? Uh, I don't know, man. There was one where like a, a kid killed his entire. F- family oh no there was one where the girl and her boyfriend killed their entire they're like 15 they killed their entire family because they wanted to run away together that was funny they did not i mean it wasn't funny but they thought they were gonna get real go away with it which was funny she's like coloring with crayon funny enough she was coloring she was so young she was coloring with crayons in the interrogation room bruh (laughs) so wait yeah so killed her whole family good job dumbass so they 43 like, years oh, in prison. Gonna, You'll be out when you're 50. We want to run away together. So, like, instead of just running away together. Yeah, they ran to prison. They they killed her whole family? Oh, yeah. Her, her entire family died. Oh. Yeah. Or no, I mean, it was just her dad. I don't know. You know. There's so many of them where, like, the entire family Oh, died. they were 15. I thought, yeah, you, they I, were thought f- I heard you say they killed 15 family members. No, they were 15 years old. Oh, I mean. okay, okay. I mean, yeah, it's still tragic, still awful. And it's, but, it's something you got to watch out for, man. And I don't know, man. That The, the behavior that this guy was exhibiting, it's just, it's kind of Was he, concerning. like, 30? Uh, he was, like, was he wait, like, going you after an underage girl? Or were they both 15? Uh yeah, they're both. Oh no, actually, yeah, he was. <laughs> he was like twenty six. No, he wasn't that way. He was like twenty one or some shit. I, I mean, know. still. Yeah, I mean, still. But yeah, he's, he's like, like, let's run away together. Let's murder your dad. Yeah, yeah. He's like, way. my dad's gonna be so mad. There, there's there's a bunch of them out there, man. It, honestly, it's a rabbit hole that I do not suggest to anyone. But nope. like, I do listen to it like occasionally when I'm just like doing other stuff, and it is just like wow. Like interrogation rooms are so freaking scary, man. It's like, and the cops always use the same GD tactics. Yeah. Oh no, for sure. They all sure. do. Have you ever uh, almost encountered a uh, girl you were seeing's father in a negative way? Like he was like mad at you for something or like something. Like <laughs> Jonas, I'm black. What do you want? <laughs> of course. No, I mean like the of course. Like, well, I know that, bro. But like, but I mean like where like you were like, oh, this all this, of them. This was gonna be. This could have been bad. Like uh, like where it got to a point where you're like, oh no, no, no. So no, I nothing bad. I, I you know. snuck my girlfriend out of her house. Oh, that's one time. That's not like, a good idea. We were both in high school. So yeah. like, uh, I was driving. I don't think she was driving yet. Like mm. we were like just like a year or two apart. And, uh, so I, like she snuck out, I picked her up. We went and did whatever we did as high school kids. Nothing drove around, whatever. Um, fornication. I mean, probably. <gasps> and so like, but I, I came back and we like drove by her house and like, I didn't drop her off in front of her house. Oh. I drove like ha- halfway down her, I passed her house, drove like halfway down the road and dropped her off. Yeah. And uh, yeah, she yeah, got out. 
Oh. And walked. She uh she called me the next day and she was like, my dad was running down the street after your car when I got out of your car to come back to the house. So like I didn't I, I didn't know what I was. I dropped her off. See you later. Dr- drove away. Yeah. She's like he was he was running down the street to yeah. come to me as I was getting out of your yeah. car. And I was like. That could have been really bad. Yeah. If he would have got to my car, he probably would have pulled my ass out. Hey, yo, you know what, Jonas, man? I'm a, I'm a deviant as an adult. I will sneak I will sneak a girl out of rehab. To, 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 I'm just saying, John, I'm a hit? deviant as an adult. But as a kid, I would have never pulled some ish like that. That's really? somebody's daughter, man. People <laughs> like this. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, get on your goddamn I love get on your horse real quick. That's somebody's daughter, man. That's somebody's daughter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, but dead ass. Somebody will kill over their wives, over their daughters, over their mothers. Right. Oh, it's not like I took her out and got her drunk. We just went and hung out. You like, said out. fornication. I don't know what we did. Like it, that that night, I don't think it was. I mean, if like you got a hand, Jay. That's too much. I mean, if I she's snuck, if your penis made an appearance, I, dude, I don't remember exactly. But I mean, I snuck you her showing out. your fifteen year old to my fifteen year old <laughs> daughter. I swear to God, <laughs> I. Uh, <laughs> I but I snuck her out of the house numerous times, and like, but yeah, so it was just the one time. But after that, uh, yeah, she got in trouble. That was never my bag. That was never my bag. You know, let me tell you how how soft I was as a child, Jonas. I remember it was a time where a young girl invited me over. We were, I was still in junior high. A young girl invited me over to her home. Okay. This was a this was a very attractive. At least at the time, I feel she was an attractive young lady. Um, I'm sitting in her living room. She's like, "I'll be right back." She goes into her bedroom, comes out fully nude. Oh wow! I'm like, "Holy crap!" Um, she says. Why don't you come to the bedroom? I'm like, all right, I'm just going to use the bathroom real quick. She walks into the bedroom, Jonas. I ran for my life. You ran out of the house. I, Jonas, look, this is a real story. As a, I think I was maybe 13, 14 at the time. I ran, Jonas. I could not handle the, pre- don't look at me like I'm Drake right now. I don't need you I to mean... do that because he won. All right. And I win too, Jonas. So... I kept, I kept myself pure. Yeah. Fuck you, dude. You said she, she was a big... She, oh, I'm in the episode. You said she was a big old... You were like, I don't want to deal with these loose women. I'm never telling this story ever again. <laughs> usually, usually we don't repeat I stuff. look back at that to this day, Jonas. I'm like, what the hell was you thinking, man? Maybe she wasn't clean. Joan, I was. I went to church a lot. <laughs> You're like, forgive me, Father. A woman showed me her hoo-ha. Bro, uh, bro it... Mm. I don't know. I don't know Anyways, man. we all make mistakes, man. We don't all- <laughs> don't stand in traffic and get a free meal. <laughs> it all comes full circle. Yeah, uh, that's basically. what's on me today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas TNT. Uh, we up.